Welcome back, everyone. This is your Blue Devil News. I'm Jesse. And I'm Ian. Students, please remember the bank is only open during lunch. You can pay with cash or check at the bank for things like prom, senior fee, Lebanon t-shirts, senior yard signs, and parking passes. Prom tickets have increased to $50. Also, if you're bringing someone to prom who does not have, attend LHS, you must complete the appropriate paperwork that is available outside of the bank. This year, LHS is providing every graduating senior with a yard sign to display at their houses to communicate our pride in their accomplishments. However, if you would like a personalized sign or would like an extra sign, the cost is $15 each and the deadline is today. Graduation will be held on May 22nd here on the football field at 10 a.m. Each senior is allowed to give out eight tickets. As long as we are able to maintain a traditional school schedule, we plan on having one ceremony for the entire class to graduate together. Also, if you've not paid the $75 graduation fee, please do so immediately. There are several scholarships coming due, and guidance has communicated this through Mond. The Chamber of Commerce has six local scholarships due April 9th. The Pepsi-Cola scholarship application is due April 16th. There will be an LHS senior awarded this scholarship. Wooden Memorial Scholarship is a new scholarship for an LHS athlete for $1,500. There's one simple essay. This is due April 15th. Lebanon Breakfast Rotary Scholarship for a Cumberland-bound student is due May 5th. This is an excellent opportunity as it awards $2,000 per year on top of Tennessee Promise funds. Don't miss out on free money for college. If you have any questions, see guidance or find the link by going to LHS homepage then selecting counseling. Any senior who can show Red Cross proof that they have sexually, successfully donated blood a minimum of three times need to see Ms. Thompson at C-304. While well, LHS has not hosted a blood drive this year due to the pandemic, Ms. T feels certain there are a few seniors who will qualify for this graduation distinction. You must be able to show proof on the Red Cross website regarding time and dates of donations. Today, our athletic department is hosting a community celebration for the 2020-2021 Devilettes in the Big Gym. Team posters are, are available for free to fans, and the players will be giving autographs and photos. All the 2021 hardware will be displayed along with the 1971 state championship trophy. So come out from 6.30 to 8.30 to celebrate. Juniors who are interested in taking any dual enrollment courses with Cumberland must turn in their registration form to guidance by April 1st. Extra copies are available in the guidance office. Seniors, your 60 Tennessee Scholar Community Service Hours are due tomorrow. Your books are still on sale for $90. Pre-orders have ended and we are currently selling remaining stock and do not anticipate to have extras. We sold out last year and expect to do so this year. Orders can be placed using school cash or on yearbookforever.com. Congratulations to the swim team who swam their county championship meet last Friday. The boys 200 freestyle relay team won the event and set a new team record, while Emma Pariki was the county champion in the 100 breaststroke. You must have a parking pass to park on campus. If you do not have one, there are applications outside of the bank and you must purchase a pass during lunch. If you've lost your pass, replacement passes are $5 and are also available at the bank during lunch. Please make sure your tag is properly displayed and visible, and be sure you're in the correct spot that coordinates with your tag. Last week, our career tech courses were busy competing in state contests. Kaylee Scott competed and placed first in Northern Section Employment Skills event for FFA. Housing members Zach Marshall, Savannah Barton, and Aaron Fulcher placed second and third. Zach in Dental Terminology, Savannah in Research Health Posture, and Aaron in Prepared Speaking. Finally, criminal justice students competed in the Middle Tennessee Criminal Justice Competition. The contest included several police response scenarios, DUI and felony traffic stops, and crime scene investigation skills. Caroline Wright, Kaylee Cothran, and Julian Lakeman placed first in the fingerprint identification. Congratu congratulations to all of these outstanding Blue Devils. Boys soccer defeated DeKalb County with a score of 2-1. Sean Redmond had the game winner with 54 seconds left. Take a look. Speaking of Sean, he's been nominated for Athlete of the Week. Go to Tennessee and not come to vote. Our next home game is tomorrow night at 6 against rivals Mount Juliet. Congratulations to our varsity baseball team for winning the Wilson County Invitational this past Friday night. And they beat Coffee County last night. And they are scheduled to play Warren County today away at 6. Oh, and don't forget the cafe will be open tomorrow and orders need to be placed within the 
first 10 minutes of class. That's all the news we have today, LHS. I'm Jesse. And I'm Ian. This has been news to you from the white and blue.